Hello, welcome to my channel, UD on YT. I did change the name, so don't let it trip you up. I'm too tired to put the theme song, okay? I just reconfigured my OBS software after a long day of dance auditions. That's why I have the wig, the contacts, the makeup. Because before I take it off, I figured, why not film a reaction video? I haven't posted in a while because I keep telling myself I'm going to edit these videos and then I don't. So you know what? Let me just put something out there. And if you're new to my channel, this is where I talk about whatever I want, my life goals, or sometimes I want to talk about things that just made me think or feel. And today, Ethan made me think and feel. By the way, I love this new... Let me, why is it there? I love this new channel that he made. I don't know if you can see it. It's, we changed the name to Ethan Klein, but it was called H3TV like a week ago. And Ethan um, is talking about this, <clears throat> this subreddit called Anti Work. I want to react, I guess I'm reacting to Ethan's reaction, but, um, some guy from the subreddit went on some kind of news show and did an interview and he didn't do a good job. Um, I have some feelings about anti-work. I actually like that subreddit, but let, let's have Ethan explain. All right. Welcome back to a new video. Today we are exploring the greatest Reddit drama to come off the internet in years, maybe of all time. Uh, some of you may be familiar with the subreddit Anti-Work, which I, I was a member of. Um, I saw the memes on my homepage from time to time, which I enjoyed. For example, if you go to uh, Top of All Time, Anti-Work is basically people that hate capitalism, more so just hate the struggle of working dead-end jobs that don't pay well with bosses that don't care about you. And a so just to clarify, it is any type of person who doesn't like work. Um, so that is a variety of people. You have people like me who um, just want to work as little as possible to make as much money as possible. I <laughs> that, That's how I am. But you'll also have people who feel that work in a capitalist society is unethical coercion and that it shouldn't even exist um there are people who are anarchists there are people who are socialists there are people who are communists there are people who are still plugged into the capitalist system who they just want to be respected at their job <laughs> like they are anti this idea that you know you should be treated like a POS at work simply because you needed to live. So there's a variety of different types of people and different types of ideologies in this subreddit. The one thing that unites us is that we share the sentiment that work sucks. A lot of the posts are sharing conversations with their bosses. For example, here, let me read one for you. Look at the awards. Oh my God, dude. Have you ever seen that many awards on a post? 300,000 likes. Let me read this one for you just to give you an example. Boss text him. Good evening. Uh, I was reviewing the cameras from our shift today and noticed that you were sitting on a stool for the majority of your shift. This, this is completely ridiculous. unacceptable behavior. Yeah. We will be discussing it tomorrow before shift. Uh, they responded. I cleared it with this leader. I have two broken bones in my left foot. Doctor documented. Aside from that, I packed whatever that means, 240 UPH for the entirety of my shift, 12 full hours. I'm not sure if you're aware, but we do have a ranked list for packing display directly above our station. My efforts earned me first place today. So just to be clear, my impressive performance was overshadowed, overshadowed by the fact that I was uncomfortable enough while doing it. The boss responds, I'm really not appreciating your attitude. You could have just said the first part uh, where it was cleared with another lead instead of being disrespectful. This type of behavior isn't going to get you anywhere here. Hey, thanks for wasting my precious off time with some garbage. You didn't bother to investigate beforehand. Seriously, 240 UPH, what you claim to be the principle of performance, I achieved it. And I got grief because I was sitting while doing it. You guys need to get your priority state. It is no wonder that you have such difficulties retaining staff. I'm not concerned with going anywhere there. It's a toxic environment with ignorant people at the helm. I won't be in tomorrow or ever again. The boss responds, you don't need to rush into leaving. Let's talk in the morning and we can sort this out. And the employee said, no, thanks. Have a good life. Yeah. yeah so it's basically like, you know, Being treated beautiful, like beautiful moments of workers quitting their job. Uh, and listen, let's just be honest. There's a thing called the great resignation going on. People are quitting their crappy jobs. 
Yeah. Um, I don't know too much about the great resignation. Um, I just know that we're in a state in the market, in the job market where, um, there is some work to go around. So people have options. People don't have to choose. People don't have to stay at a job that they don't like necessarily anymore. There are more options than there usually are. Um, and, uh, People are enjoying working remote, myself included. Um, enjoy working remote now that we've been in the panorama and uh, we have proven as a society that jobs can be remote and things can keep going. Things can grow. Um, a lot of industries were booming while everybody was working remote. So People kind of feel like it's no longer justified to require me to come to the office when we've all proven that we can be even more productive when we work at home and don't have to pay for childcare <laughs> and save that money. Um, can uh, take time to prepare healthier meals, to take care of your own wellness, to to exercise, to keep the house tidy because you're on you're on a break and rather than sitting out staring at the sky on your break or scrolling through a news feed you're at home you can take care of things that need to be taken care of or maybe you're injured and the only reason you haven't been going into work is because you're injured but now you can have your apparatuses set up how you need it and work on the computer the list of benefits goes on and on and um I mean, I'm sure there's some people, listen, I have met people who said, I'm so excited for the office to be back open. There are few and far between. Um, I don't relate. <laughs> I don't relate. I like working remote. I, and thanks to this panorama, I pretty much refuse to work at an actual physical location ever again. I don't want to do that ever again. So... Let's get to the cringe part, the part that Ethan wants jobs, to react to. Jobs on top of the round. The neighbor told Mark, I go ahead and at least take the one day I get a week off to morning. Boss is like, quit, and then subreddit that has exploded in popularity. Um, there's 1.7 million people here uh, are members of this subreddit. And what happened was that one of the mods of this subreddit decided to do an interview with Fox news and it was such a train wreck first of all you have to understand the news program you're going on to it's fox news the 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 cable channel fox news not just your local fox news on channel 55 this is the cable channel fox news what in the world makes you think fox news genuinely wants to hear from anti-work Fox News is a news station that likes to keep things status quo. They like to keep things how, how they are now. Let's keep it that way. Let's keep it that way. And um, they like working. They think they like the idea of Americans truly believing that you pull yourself up by your bootstraps and you can become a millionaire with enough hard work, you could even become a billionaire with just some sweat equity, hard work, and tenacity. They really want you to believe that. Um, they will never take something called anti-work seriously. It's already off the boat. You got to know uh, if they want to talk to you, it's really just so that they can make fun of you. That it resulted in the subreddit being locked down and the whole i can't apparently this was a movement i didn't realize it was a whole movement down. but the whole movement is in disarray the subreddit got locked down uh the, the mod was trying to ban people shut down threads there was a whole mutiny uh there's a whole uh, migration to a new subreddit work reform which now is like what four hundred fifty thousand members in one day uh man wait they changed the name which now is like what four hundred fifty thousand members in one day migration to a new subreddit oh, work reform which now is subreddit. like what four hundred fifty thousand members in one day uh man it's been wild well anyway the whole the thing that got this all started is this interview on fox wow. news so oh, without further ado 
Let's give it a watch. So, um, a Reddit, uh, a subreddit called Work Reform makes complete sense because on anti work, you were getting everybody in one place and it was a lot of different ideologies. Like, there was one time I even posted, I was asking people to share what jobs they do that is very little work, but very high pay. <laughs> like, you know, a low work to pay ratio or I don't know, low high. And people were responding like, you're in the wrong subreddit. Like, I can't believe you. And I'm like, no, this subreddit is for people who don't like work. This question of what do you do for work that you feel you get paid a lot, but you don't do a, do much, this fits with an anti-work. But, you know, the communists and, the, and the, the anarchists were like, screw you, screw you, the fact that you even want to work at all and earn an income at all. So the idea of having a subreddit called work reform, it makes a lot of sense because that'll have the people who they're... I don't even think they would have my ideology. They still want to work the same jobs. They just want to be treated like human beings, which is very different than the anarchist, anarchist, whatever, those people, very different than those people who think everything should be torn down and we shouldn't even have a paper dollar, right? over 1.6 million subscribers. And joining me now is the person who operates this anti-work group, Doreen Ford. All right, so Doreen, why do you like the idea of being home, not working, but still getting paid by corporate America? Of course, he's mis The Fox New guys is- Wait, that's weird. He, say that again. Of being home, not working, but still getting paid by corporate America. Okay. So if I was on this, <laughs> if I was on this, he would ask me that same question because he would have heard me saying, you know, I want to cook my meals, right? Like I'm not working, but I'm still getting paid because I'm at work because I'm at home. Um, I don't help. Let me see how this guy answers that question. Of course, he's mis the Fox New guys is a dick, right, obviously, and misrepresenting the people of anti-work. They just want decent, humane conditions, right? Like they're not they're not looking to freeload. Um, mm -hmm. They're just looking for basic decency, health care, decent pay where they can actually buy a house, pay for medicine. You know, it's not rocket science, dude. Yeah, I feel um, like if they were to ask me that question, like, why do I feel you know, time where I'm the, the five minutes I'm looking at my kid, answering my kid's question, scheduling my doctor's appointment, cooking my breakfast and lunch. Why should I be paid for that? Like I'm at work, but it's like, um, <laughs> because I need these things to live and function. If these things didn't get done, I wouldn't be able to even work. Um, and I was doing them in some shape, form or fashion. I was using money or asking for time off or trying to finesse it like oh okay if i <laughs> they, they nobody will notice that i'm gone if i leave at this time and come back at this time and people were doing whatever they had to do to make their life function um but rather than spending a chunk of time right spending time driving back home and doing the thing and then coming back or chunking it all together like oh okay let me get an hour break and I can do it all together rather than that just make it a part of your work day I don't think it's that big of a deal especially if the end result is better and we're more productive and we're happier and we're wanting to keep continue working for you longer yeah uh so there's some misconceptions about the movement um so <laughs> We're a movement where we want to reduce the amount of work that people feel like they, they're forced to, to do. Um, and so we want to still put in effort, we want to put in labor, um, but we don't want to necessarily uh, be in a position where we feel trapped. You know, um, you just quoted from Office Space where that person feels very trapped in their job. I think we're calling for a society where there's less of that. Um, but yeah, absolutely, people still 
want to do things. They just want to do things where they feel rewarded and they feel like they're in a good spot in their life uh, and that their job respects them and stuff like that. Um, you know, And stuff like that is usually not a good... I actually think he's... he's I, I agree with what he said up to this point. I mean, uh, I don't expect this guy to be a master debater or anything. I think he's answered a question like a regular guy would. You know, not bad so far, I'd say. There's varying so you're the, so Doreen, but you're not being forced to work. This isn't this isn't slave labor. You, you've you've applied for a job. You've agreed to the terms and conditions of the uh -huh. employment. And, you know, you can walk away from that job at any time and quit. So, I don't uh -huh. What was he about to say? And, you know, you can walk away from that job at any time and quit. So, I don't understand yeah, really I'm, what this is about. Sure. Except it sounds like maybe people are just being lazy. Are you encouraging people well, to sure, be lazy? So. so, already when he started the question, I was like... Like if they were if they were recording me, you would have seen my eyes right from the beginning of the question go. <sighs> you are forced to work. If you want to have a certain standard of living, if you want to have a basic standard of living for the country you live in, in this case, United States, you have to work. Mind you, there are people who decide they want to reduce their standard of living. Like I had a conversation with some lady that she voluntarily went to the friggin' woods and built a cabin, washes her clothes by hand, all that live off the land, okay? It, it, it takes poops in a bucket, you know what I'm saying? She intentionally reduced her standard of living below what is considered humane in this country okay that that standard of living is not considered hu humane in this country like if something if a natural disaster were to happen and you had to be relocated if you were being relocated to cabins where you poop in a bucket that like actually they would consider that inhumane <laughs> it's not the standard of living that is considered basic so if you want to, you need to work in that regard. You are forced to work. You can't really do that if you're completely living on welfare. And there's even forms of welfare where you have to prove that you are actively looking for work. So no, there's not a gun to your head. And you can quit anytime. You can um, sometimes people don't quit because they're unsure if they can get another job. Sometimes people don't quit because the devil, you know, there's different reasons why people don't quit. And he's saying that this is advocating for laziness. I, one of my personal pet peeves is when people say, I don't understand. Not just like every time it's said. Okay, but like when people say I don't understand about a situation that is like very, un very understandable, <laughs> right? Like Jamie Lynn Spears, when she did her interviews, her whole interviews was just, I, I don't know, I don't understand. You know, like I don't, why somebody would be stuck in a conservatorship and and be upset at their family who did nothing to stop it. Like, I don't understand, why would she be mad? That's Jamie Lynn's, like, that annoys me. <laughs> that kind of stuff annoys me because to me, it feels like you are pretending you don't understand, like you're playing dumb, you're being willfully ignorant, or you do not have the intention to ever understand. It was never your intention to understand. That's why you, you don't understand because you do not want to understand. It's, that is not your intention. And you're playing some game. <laughs> like, we're, let's pretend that that is your intention when it's actually not. And that's what he's doing here. He doesn't actually care to understand. He's just It's just for the sake of making this guy look foolish and... Um, you know, continuing this narrative that his channel wants to push of 
pull yourself up by your bootstraps and work your butt off and then maybe one day you can survive they want to keep pushing this narrative for the sake of that he's going to say he doesn't understand and you can really tell that he's playing this game because he chooses uh, a derogatory word lazy is considered very negative he chooses that word um to try to incite something or imply something that would make his audience think it's funny even though nothing this guy has said implies laziness there's nothing lazy about wanting to be treated decently at work yeah i mean this guy is such a corporate chill like obviously this isn't at all about being lazy uh, there's collusion among companies. There's a minimum wage that is way below the minimum standard. There are norms, right, at the lowest levels of employment um, where you don't get any benefits, you don't get any pension, you don't get uh, sick days, holidays, maternity leave, like I mentioned. Um, and and there's expectations that you work ungodly hours that basically what, you know, is called uh, wage slavery. So, like, yeah, you can... Yeah, but the narrative these people on this channel are pushing, they like that. Like the idea that somebody will have to work 100 hours a week um, to to pay their bills or, you know, do whatever, pay for college, whatever. They like that. Um, they want people to brag. There was this TikTok video of this oil field worker, which is a dangerous job, but it pays a lot because not many people want to do it. Um, <laughs> And it's a lot, it's mostly men. I would probably say it's 98% men. Um, I've heard of a few females who do go out and work in the oil field, but it's mostly youngish dudes who, you know, taking risks, they're used to taking risks, they're, it's worth it to them to take a risk. <sighs> Though, I don't know, I don't know if I could let a loved one do that because that's so, it's, it is dangerous work. So they get paid a lot, but um, this one guy was bragging about how he would work 100 hours so he can get paid more. And this is the channel where that's a flex, you know? they The idea of what about spending time with your family? <laughs> you know, what about what about actually raising your children? What about... You know, what about actually living life? That concept, this type of channel would like for you to think that's silly, funny, lazy, useless, pointless. Um, so Ethan, Ethan's describing wage slavery, but this is the channel where they, they want to make you think wage slavery is a good thing. It shows you have work ethic leave a job right but where, where are you going to go next door it's going to be the same thing so it's kind of like a it's like a fake um this illusion of free will is basically just that an illusion i mean the alternative is not better um so i think laziness is um a virtue in a society where people constantly want you to be productive 24 7 and it's good that oh no he just said laziness is a virtue yeah the dude is not a speaker okay he's not going to be the that's not good of our time <laughs> Yeah, laziness is not a virtue in any society, right? That's not that's a bad bad thing to say. The th these people are not lazy. They're not looking to not work. They just want respect, right? Um what he's trying to say is he's trying to tell the guy you only call what I'm talking about lazy because you think it's a virtue to be overworked. They think it's a virtue to be overworked and underpaid. They think that's a good thing. Like, one of the things that annoy me about conservatives is this, this um, messiah complex that they have. Like, this overcoming the odds complex. They, they, they have people in their head that they know in real life or they heard of who've overcome the odds. They were overworked and underpaid and they, they just kept going until they finally made it to the top. Right. And they feel to me, it's as if they want everyone to think and feel that that can be them. But it's like literally 
that cannot be everyone and it will not be everyone. So, you know, why are you trying so hard to protect the one person who can survive being overworked and underpaid and make it all the way to the top? Why are you fighting so hard to preserve the, the existence of that? And you know what, do whatever you want, but why look down on people who are like, Hey, well, for the rest of us, regular humans, we'd like to have some form of work-life balance and not hate ourselves at job. I don't get like, why, why is it so wrong to just be a regular person to these people? Laziness is not a virtue, dude. I'm sorry to tell you. They have rest. Um, that doesn't mean you should be resting all the time or not putting effort into things that you care about. But I think one of the what do you think is like a work good work day? How many hours is, is you know, a solid work day in, in your ideal right. society? Uh, sure. I mean, I think as much as people want. I mean, I personally uh, work. And what's funny is, does this guy, the newscaster, even know who decided how long the work day is? I believe it was Henry Ford. He just came up with that number. It doesn't have to be in eight hours. He is he looking for eight hours? It doesn't need to be eight hours. Some studies show that you can be just as effective having your people work for five or six. But I'm sure if this guy said five or six hours a day, this guy would be, oh, you've got to be kidding me. And I'm sure this is the kind of guy who would be like, who if the if the other kid said, oh, work 12 hour days, 16 hour days. He would be like, oh, good for you, good for you. They really prize this overworkedness. And I remember, like, I used to be in environments where people would brag about how little sleep they got, that they were working so hard that they only got how many hours of sleep. That's not a brag. That's an unhealthy. You're, you're risking your health for this job that doesn't really care about you and they will replace you in a few days if something were to happen to you. Not worth it. I have I have like a 20, 25 hour work weeks, which I think is fairly good. Um, so I would like less work hours. Um, and what I do you do, Doreen? Oh, I'm a dog walker. A dog walker. Okay. Yes. And how, uh, yeah, so how old are you? This reminds me of like Crowder going to college campuses, you know, I mean, this is just, how did they even get in touch with this guy? I'd be curious to know. But yeah, I mean, this guy is a caricature of a Reddit mod of a lazy guy who just doesn't want to work. Truly the worst uh, embodiment of what this movement represents. And um, the Fox guy. The thing, Ethan, is this movement. The only thing this movement unitedly represents is that work sucks. You can be late if you want to be lazy. He works 20 to 25 hours a week. If that's what he wants to do, that's what he wants to do. You know, there are plenty of rich people who do the same. I used to have this millionaire mentor. Her name is Danny Johnson. And she would tell us how she only works 20 hours a week and how she's reducing it more and more. But people, nobody's going to call her. Nobody's going to call her lazy because she's a millionaire. But she gets to do that because she has because she's a millionaire. But you're not going to call her lazy. She doesn't want to work 40 hours a week. She only wants to work 20 hours a week. This guy also only wants to work 20 hours a week. Now, he's not a millionaire, but if he has calculated that 20 hours of work a week is enough for him to get by, I mean, just be happy he's even contributing and participating in this capitalistic society. You know, like, I don't see the point in shaming somebody like this. This is what works for him not he wants to work part-time if that's enough for him that's enough for him i don't think you should call him lazy or shame him or say he's a bad representation this is a representation of anti-work people they don't want to work they don't want to work a lot they don't everybody they want to work, but not be disrespected. They want to do a lot of work in the hours that they do work, whatever their rationale reasoning is. Hey, he's loving it. Yeah, a dog walker. Yeah, he's going to make fun of his profession now. 
No harm in being a dog walker, I yeah, guess. Yeah, there's nothing wrong you with know, it. 20 hours a week, if that's enough to get by, I think that's great. So if you don't mind me asking. Sure, I'm 30. You're 30, okay. And is there something you want to do besides being a dog walker? Do you aspire to do anything more than dog walking? Or is that kind of your... <coughs> See, like, the dude, you don't want to get it. No, his life is not defined by his job. And I guess a guy like this wouldn't understand. I'm sure a guy like this worked very hard and kissed a lot of butts to get to the position that he's in now. And I'm sure he's very proud of it. And I'm sure he talks about it or gloats about it. Or when people introduce him, you know, they're like, yeah, did you know that he's one of the top news, news anchors for Fox News? And I'm sure this guy's profession and his job is a core part of his identity. So... For him, he just can't believe that other people don't give a crap. Yeah, like there are humans in this society that are literally only working to get money only. That's it. Like they're not working for their ego. They're not working for the accolades. They're not working to be uh, respected by their peers. They are literally only working because you need money to pay bills. And that's it. And it doesn't need to be anything more. And I used to be somebody who, <sighs> I f when I first entered the workforce, I, my identity was more tied to my degree and my industry. And then when I realized I wasn't getting paid enough, um, I, th that couldn't be my identity anymore because I was trying out different things. Um, then I got into a toxic work environment where pretty much they were tr really trying to brainwash you to have your work and your identity be so tied together. But now I'm back to where, <laughs> where I think I should have been all along, where my identity is not tied to my work. Like if you want to know who I am asking me what I do for a living is, is probably the least interesting, least effective question to ask me. <laughs> um, I just work because I need to, I just find something that I'm good at and do that job so that you can pay me for that job. And I use that money to do my life and that's it. That's it. Now it would be great. And here, and I fell into the follow your passions trap. I call it a trap because it kind of is, but I fell into that follow your passions trap because I did believe your work did have to be our identity because that's how everybody around me behaved since I was a kid. Your job was kind of who you are. So I thought, wow, if my job is if everybody's like so into what I do for work and that's how they see me, then I need to do something that I love. I need to follow my passion. Well, if you want to be an artist, it's really hard. Okay. I just came from a dance audition. If you, if you want to, if you want to do something related to the arts, um, if you stick that out long enough, you realize that no, actually a job is just a job. Like sometimes you just do a job that you're able to do so you can make money <laughs> and that's it. So this guy's trying to, you know, wow, he's 30 and all he wants to do is walk dogs. He doesn't want to do anything more with his life. You know, there's lots of things that you can do in your life that isn't your job. Or maybe he just wants to be a regular person. Like, you know how many people are working jobs? Like you're going to shame you're going to shame the, I just think that's, I just think it's kind of ridiculous. Like some people just care about their family and that's it. They just want to pay the bills for the family and be with their family. I think you get what I'm trying to say here. This guy lives in a different world where your ego and your paycheck are tied in together. And he, for his show, for the sake of let's make fun of this guy he is ignoring or he doesn't realize that a lot of people don't 
care. They just want money so they can live. Your pinnacle. This is this guy's such a douche. Like, I'm sorry. I mean, first of all, this interview is just a terrible mismatch. In a way, I I don't hate the guy, right? I, the Fox News guy is really the piece of shit here. He's the corporate shill who's saying the dog walker is the pinnacle. There's nothing wrong with being content to work uh, or, or live. In. Dude, work does not define him, okay? He can be a dog walker all he wants. There's nothing wrong with that, dude. Uh, I, I love working with dogs. If I had to do this the rest of my life, you know, I wouldn't be super complaining. You know, dogs are wonderful animals. Uh, but I I would love to teach. Uh, I would love to, um, you teach. know, uh, work, Why? With, work with. Why are you making a face? What's wrong with this guy teaching? Somebody needs to leave me a comment and explain. Like, why is he making a face like, like, really? <laughs> you want to teach? You want to teach? What do you want to teach? Like, okay, like, you literally, you can just apply to be a substitute teacher. <laughs> like, and then go get your certificate. Like, it's... Do people change careers all the time? And be, like <laughs> I don't know like if the dude said I think it would be cool to become an astrophysicist if he said something like that or you know I think it would be cool to you know maybe become an Olympic athlete then I would understand a like, Olympic athlete <laughs> this this guy wants to become an Olympic athlete at 30 <laughs> I could understand the face but he said he wants to be a teacher like there are seven there I had teachers who were in their 70s like, <laughs> dude, I don't, uh, this guy's very annoying. He's annoying me. Oh my God. People and well, stuff like that. What would that. you yeah. teach, Dorian? Uh, a philosophy mostly. Philosophy. Just introduction to philosophy, critical thinking, reason, stuff like that. Okay. So he's making that face because he thinks philosophy is a useless, to, it's a useless study. I have a degree in philosophy. Um, what, there's nothing wrong with philosophy. Most, a lot of people take philosophy before they go to law school or they do philosophy, get their PhD and become a professor or they write books. Right? Like, like I'm sure this guy loves Jordan Peterson. I believe Jordan Peterson um, is a psychologist. He has his PhD in psychology, but psychology is one of those degrees that conservatives like to make fun of. Conservatives like to make fun of Anything that's not math or science. So if you ever get into a debate with conservatives about college, they'll always be like, well, of course, if you're getting your degree in women's studies, you're going to be broke. Like, shut up. <laughs> you can get your degree in basket weaving. It literally doesn't matter. <laughs> you just need to get a degree in order to get certain higher paying jobs. It doesn't matter what degree you get. But, you know, now, now this guy is mocking the, the field of philosophy. Like, it's so frivolous. It means nothing. <sighs> this guy is just gross to me. Okay. Well, I would love to take your class, Doreen. I would just be taking notes the whole time. And you know what? A professor is a very similar schedule than something that you're imagining so i think that actually might might work are you trying to dog professors now like okay first of all professor is not a similar schedule okay i mean you could actually you, you could make it that way you can be a part-time professor um like at a community college i guess some universities have those too but um it just depends on how yeah i mean yeah you could be a part-time professor at a community college and 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 what what's wrong with that like what's wrong you he's educating people like that's not funny that's not that's not stupid that's not silly that's not weird dude this is why i can never watch this freaking channel because they do this all the time they they take topics and like try to just make it sound like it's so freaking stupid it's like it's, it's actually not stupid it's like there's actually nothing wrong with it like i can't i can't stand it oh my god work perfectly for you listen uh i think this might not be the greatest idea but who am i to judge wait te text jesse what is that number text jesse who's jesse is that the name of this reporter hold on if i text this right now and they put me on some mailing list let me do google voice 
So I don't want to be put on a friggin' mailing list. I have to re-download it. Okay, I'll text it with my real number. 929-286-747. If they send me something, I'll just say stop. Jesse? Let's see. Oh my gosh. Who is Jesse? I don't even know who I just texted. Ciao. Anyway, we'll see. To each their own, they say. It's a free country. Sure. Not yeah. everything's uh, free, you know. but it is a free country. <laughs> Thank you so much. Sure. We got to run. We got to pay the bills. Yeah. Uh, look, the guy, is not, he's not a debater. He's frankly not even smart. Uh, he, the guy said, they asked him, the moderator that was in the interview, they said, what did you even do to prepare? And I swear to God, he said, I took a shower. And that was not yeah, an ironic comment. Didn't prepare. Uh, that, that was his he, preparation. There's, I know people like this. Because I, I had an instance where <clears throat> uh, we were talking to media and they were interviewing my partner, like my co-partner. And he was answering the questions the same way this guy was like the, the way this guy was answering questions, he was answering, like, you're just, you know, hanging out. Like, so dude, like, tell me about this anti-work. Like what's the, what's going on? Like, you don't want to work. Oh, you dog worker. Okay, cool. Like you want to do anything after you're just chilling. Like he's talking, like he's answering questions. Like he's talking to a friend or somebody who is like genuinely interested to know, what is this about? It, he has no comprehension or understanding that this is a news reporter. News reporters need a story. They need a hook. They need something that just sounds weird out of the ordinary. And if they can get you to say something weird or, you know, twist it, they will. So I was so mad. Like, um, with the club that we were talking to the media and I was hearing my partner, the kind of answers he was giving, I was like, dude, why did you say that? He's like, oh, why not? That's, you know, that's part of do 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 do. And I'm like, dude, they're going to print that and they're going to take you out of context. He was like, what do you mean? Like, how do you take that out of context, dude? You can't just talk to reporters like they're your friend. You need to think about what you're saying. Think about the angle they're trying to do it. I thought they just wanted to write about our club. Yeah, they want to write about your club, but it's still a reporter. This is not a thesis essay. This is not like, you know, a, a historical look at this is a news article news articles give information but they also have to make it interesting to read and what you said if they take it out of context which she will because that is weird like that out of context sounds weird and people don't understand the history of india or whatever the topic was he was like oh Oh, well, let's just see. And then, yeah, she printed a story. She didn't say, she didn't print anything I said because I, I gave all the perfect answers. She printed all the crap my, my co-person said. I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Like, that was the first time I learned what media training is, okay? <laughs> and some people need it. Okay, Jesse, why is that the name of this reporter? Yeah, that's the name of this reporter. Well, I texted you, Jesse, and you know what? I don't like you. Please don't respond to my text. I don't like you. Oh, God. I wish you could delete texts. Like, unsend. Um. Yeah. And I'm sure that guy's something bad. Like, I'm sure that guy's just like, oh, they just asked me some questions, didn't they? I mean, the thing is, though, it's for a Reddit, it's for a subreddit, you know, like the people who are watching Fox News are, they are not the target demographic, it doesn't really matter, you just, you just made yourself a laughing stock for this audience, which, 
dude, <clears throat> probably dude doesn't give a damn. Like, maybe he doesn't care. I'm the kind of person I would care. <laughs> I'm that kind of person. Um, yeah, it's it's not a good debate. I mean, they brought him out as a punching bag. He's not qualified. I think the name of the subreddit doesn't do anyone any favors. Anti-work. It just sounds like you're against work. Yeah, they are against work. But there work. you have it. I mean, a brutal takedown, for and the conservatives are loving it all the way, and uh, as they should. I mean, pretty embarrassing. So, top uh, comment. This person had a chance to prove to the, the world the problem with the current work culture, yet just said laziness is a virtue. That was not a good line. I don't even want that, to read That was comments, not a good line. Dude. Um, anyway, the turmoil continued over in the subreddit, the anti-work subreddit. This moderator made a statement on behalf of the subreddit. You guys are going to love this. They said, it's removed now. It was like a whole fire fest, dude. I'm a 21-year-old male. I'm long-term unemployed, and I'm an anarchist. And they said, I have four other interviews I've done this week. This person was only a mod for three days. He was invited by the moderator that quit, who was fired, this guy we just watched. And he said he's done done interviews with the New York Times and three other major publications. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, I don't think ch radical change is going to be coming from a shitposting subreddit personally, especially now. But there you go. It, it, it's exactly what you expect a Reddit mod to look and act like. Dan, if you're watching this, um, I'm going to need you to come in on Sunday. Guys, tell Dan... <laughs> I'm going to need him to work on Sunday, okay? So, God. Well, this was a great opportunity for me to talk about anti-work. So just so you know more of what the culture of the subreddit is, it's just everything, anything that sucks about work. So it could be as severe as nobody should ever have to work ever. <clears throat> it could be as lighthearted as me and that guy. I just want to work less. Um... But just, or, or it could just be my boss sucks. Or this particular industry sucks, right? For example, they post a meme. Um, it's a picture of people at church doing the, oh, Father God, doing that thing. And the meme says, the Sunday lunch crowd 30 minutes before verbally assaulting an 18-year-old waitress. Right? Because the person who posted this is a waitress. She knows that her job sucks. Why does it suck? Because these type of people come in and verbally assault her. Work sucks. Um, <clears throat> another person. Someone needs to explain to me why wanting clean drinking water makes you an activist and why proposing to destroy water with chemical warfare doesn't make a corporation a terrorist. Right, so... This person is saying corporations suck. Corporations provide a lot of jobs, but the job you're working is supporting a corporation that's doing something that's unethical or bad for the environment, which is bad for humans. Like sometimes you have to remind people that when you want something to be good for the environment, it's good for you as a human being living in the environment. Sometimes you have to just remind people, like, <laughs> sometimes people just forget, like, sometimes people just forget that we're on a planet, you know, <laughs> that was here before us. Um, another meme. Oh, this one's a negative Google review of their job. Um, basically, you only pay us X amount. Um, that's before taxes. After taxes, I only bring home X amount and which my entire paycheck is going towards my rent only. I don't even have money for food. I quit. You get the gist. Another one, stop glamorizing the grind and start glamorizing getting seven plus hours of sleep at night, having healthy relationships, feeling safe at work, taking sick days, being paid a living wage, working hard when you're at work, boundaries, and self-caring your way to success, which I completely agree with. Um, so you get it. It's just a variety of thoughts, ideas that all relate to work sucks, whatever that means for you. And that's what the subreddit is. Um, gosh, that was so cringy. Um, oh, here's another one. Companies, we're committed to diversity, the diversity. I don't know if you've seen that meme where it's like all these white dudes and then at the bottom of the pyramid, um, it's like one black dude, one black lady, <laughs> one like redhead lady <laughs> um anyway 
So that's the subreddit. Check it out if you want. Um, I am down. I'm down with the cause. It's not really a cause. It's just, um, I think the subreddit that is more towards actual cause change focused would be the worker reform one. So check that out. Thanks for watching. I just wanted to react to this because this is something I care about. Um, something I think about a lot. And uh, I, w I wanted to share. Give me your thoughts in the comments. You leave the paw print emoji if you watch to the end. I really can't believe this 15 minute video. I've been talking for 50 minutes on a 15 minute video. But you know what? I'm going to stop shaming myself for talking a lot because that's what we're here on YouTube for. There, there's another me in an alternate universe that's actually looking for this exact video because she likes listening to people talk for a really long time on YouTube and she listens to it while she falls asleep. That's me. That's what I do. So I hope you enjoyed. Leave me a comment or paw prints below. Subscribe. Join the elite subscribers, the 15% that ring the notification bell and you get to be a part of literally my life literally my life you get to be a part of it because i just share everything what i'm thinking what i'm doing what i'm not doing until next time much love much luck peace out can't find my cursor